this cold weather is bringing back a lot of memories from when my channel first started. It's like weird, but it's cool at the same time. Like it sucks that it's cold outside, but I just remember how much fun I had last year. Damn, we got another bike out. It is freezing. Anyways, what's up guys? It's me, G. Welcome back to another video. Today we got another beautiful day to ride. It's probably about 40 degrees, maybe even a little bit colder than that. But today we're out here riding, talking to you guys. Oh. But today we're out here riding because I want to talk to you guys a little bit about the 10 things that I love about my Grom. My last video was about 10 things that I hate about my Grom. If you guys haven't seen that, go check it out. But you know, I just talked about 10 things I hate about my Grom. And last video hurt me a little bit. It was really hard to talk. What's up, man? <laughs> I even had to sit down for a while to think about those 10 things that I hated. Today I can actually wing it and I can tell you guys 10 things that I love about my Grom. I'll break it down for you guys a little bit, make it a little bit easier. But before we get into that, I'll let you guys know that we are on my... We are on the way to the post office to go mail some stickers. From now until Christmas, I am going to have a little sale on my stickers and all my merch for a while. They'll be a little bit cheaper than they usually were. But feel free to check that out. I'll leave a link in the description. I noticed that I always like move my hand, my left hand around when I'm talking to you guys. I just need to like put it on here and not move it. All right, so let's get right into the video. I just took my hands off the bars. Number 10. I'm going, bitches. Number 10 is how maneuverable this bike is. I think I had a better word for it, but I can't remember what it was. I think maybe it was like flickability or something. But anyways, one of the things I love about this Grom is how easy you can just flick the bike back and forth. I mean, it comes in handy in like many situations. Like if you see a pothole in the middle of the road, you can literally just move out of the way really quick. But my main reason for number 10 is just the fact of how fun it is. Nobody's behind me, so I mean like literally, you could just weave in and out of these lines. Like it, it's just way too much fun. Probably stop doing it before I get pulled over. <laughs> get a nice stop in. It's kind of been a while. There we go. That was a good one. I'm actually surprised. I hardly ever practice those. I probably should do it more. I don't want to pull a photogrammer either. Fuck me. Fuck me. That's never fun. Oh, nice. Perfect. Perfect. Just what I wanted. Rocks in my face. And squeaking brakes behind me. Damn, look at that car. That is sick. Alright, and moving on to number 9, I'm pretty sure number 9 was the size of my Grom. Surprisingly, the first time I saw a Grom, it was a lot bigger than I expected. Everyone always talked about how small the Groms were, and they are small compared to every other bike. But then when I saw it in person, I was actually surprised as to how much bigger it was. It wasn't some like ridiculous amount. Oh, uh, dude, I'm so screwed here. But anyways, I love the size of the Groms because of how many places you can go. I also love the size of the Grom because of the next thing on my list, but I will explain that after I mail these stickers. Hopefully my Grom will be here when I get back. I wonder if that was one thing I put on my 10 things I hate about my Grom. It's the fact that it can get stolen so easily. I don't think it was, but there you guys go. That's another one. got a Grom, I never really thought I was going to wheelie it, nor did I think I was ever going to stunt it and know how to go from sit-downs and stand-ups to strutters and all that goodness. It's a lot of fun and you get to challenge yourself, push yourself to do things you wouldn't normally do. It's just really fun. Some people take this the whole stunt community like way too seriously. You know, I just want to go out and ride, get better on my own. You know, it's not always about being the best, it's just about having fun to be honest. Woo! Almost looped there. Psych, I never loop. I have way too much fun on these things, man. You guys see my fly racing shoes? I promise you guys, this is not a sponsored video. Fly racing knew about my videos a while back. They gave me a couple of free things, like some shoes. I think they gave me a vest and some gloves. They're a really good company. I really like their stuff. I just never really wore their shoes because they're like really solid. In the summer, it just gets too hot wearing these shoes, so I never wore them. Also, I have no idea where I am. Pretty sure there's a police station around here, but I really like wheelies. put more air in my tire and it's really thrown off my, my ability to do wheelies. I got so used to it being flat and easy. I'll get back into it. Oh, these turns here are so much fun. <laughs> Moving on to number six. Fuck, what was number six? I think we're on number seven. All right, my numbers might have been wrong earlier, but I think we're moving on to number seven, and number seven is the amount of reactions I get on a Grom. Even to this day, when Groms are a little bit more known than they used to be, 
We still have people asking questions about these bikes every day. I mean, they're just small, they're cool, they're different, and I think that's why you get so many reactions. So if you're a person who doesn't really like talking to anyone, a Grom might not be the best thing for you just because a lot of people will come up to you and ask you about the bike. That's kind of a cool lake. I kind of want to go back there. I wonder if I'm allowed to even be over here. Private lake, no skating, boating, swimming, fishing, motorized vehicles prohibited. It doesn't say no Grom Ventures. Alright, to be honest with you guys, I can't even remember if I finished number 7. Oh shit. I'd rather not hit a truck today. So we'll just move on to number 6. Number 6 is my exhaust. My exhaust is probably one of my favorite mods that I put on this bike. It's also the most expensive mod I put on this bike. So that might factor into why I like it so much. And the moment I put an exhaust on here, it made me feel like I was riding a, an actual motorcycle again. The other thing I like is it can be loud when you want it to be, but it can also be quiet when you want it to be. So like, let's say I'm supposed to be quiet through these neighborhoods at night, but I really have that itch to wheelie and there's nothing I can do about it. I just have to wheelie, you know? I'll get into second gear. It's a little loud at first, but then once I get it up, it's actually pretty quiet. That was a terrible wheelie. But that way I can still have my fun through the neighborhoods at night. But even when it's quiet, you still get that deep tone in the exhaust. It's just everything about this exhaust I love. Oh, you gotta love the speed bumps too. Woo! Is that another black squirrel? That is two videos in a row. The fact that I'm pointing out black squirrel, does that make me racist? Back to the list, I think we're at number five now. Number five isn't really like a big one, but it is something that I, I did learn to love after a while, and it's the uh, my seat. I hated the Grom seat for a long time because I hated the lump and that I couldn't sit far back on my seat. <laughs> Dude like my stoppy. But when I first bought this thing, I hated the fact that I couldn't sit further back on my seat. You just had to sit up. But then, once I learned wheelies, that seat holds you in so nicely. Like, I have no effort. We're on the 14s, it, you kind of have to hold yourself up with your arms a lot more. But it literally made wheelies a breeze after a while just because you get to sit in there. It's nice and comfy and... I don't know, it's just something I love about the Grom. Damn, some of you OG people might remember this place. This is where Olive used to work. We had to come here and pick up her bike one night because it was way too cold for her to ride. <laughs> oh my god, this was the night that I fell over laughing so hard because of one of Keith's jokes. Actually, I think it was his dab spasm. I don't know, we're pretty weird though. Alright, moving to number four, which I think I might even pull over for, is the design of the, the newer Groms. I mean, everything about the style of this Grom I like, it literally looks like a mini beast. I mean, when you think about a motorcycle, you don't really think of something this small, and then you don't expect something this small to look that cool. And I think that's why I love Groms so much. It's kind of a small thing to like about the Groms, but I really like cool looking things, and to me, a Grom is a cool looking thing. Holy shit. That could have been bad. Well, while we're sitting here, I can already tell you one thing I hate about Groms is that lights never fucking change. I think there's only one place that you can go through a drive through where the... No, that's not true. It's a lie. Even a lot of fast food places won't even pick up the Grom when you go through it. Fuck it. Alright, I believe the next one's number three. Number three is uh, gas mileage. I absolutely love how it cost me two dollars. Sorry, sir. Didn't I actually did not mean to do that. <laughs> uh, anyways, I love the fact that it costs me $2 to fill my Grom. I get 125 miles before it's gone. I do have to fill up a lot because I do ride a lot. But it's worth it when you know you're only putting $2 in the tank. Dude, I have no idea where I'm at. That's a car. I'd rather not hit that today. Thank you, though. Man, I haven't done seat standards in a long time. Look at how all over the place I am with this air in my tire. <laughs> want to learn clutch control it's just hard to move your fingers when they're frozen damn it just go through here <laughs> really wanted to make that turn it wasn't even close moving on to number two another thing that i love about my grom is that mods are so cheap and when i say that i kind of mean like when you compare it to other bikes or when you compare it to cars and stuff like the mods on these bikes are actually affordable and for example if you like own a car and you do a lot of mods to that it's nearly impossible to reach that point where you've like finished your build or you finished everything you wanted to do with your grom but the weird thing for me is i literally have everything done to this grom that i want and one thing I might want to add is some white wall tires. I just don't really want to go through the hassle of having to clean them all the time. But literally everything else I have because they're all affordable. And because they're all affordable, you can finish your build a lot faster than you could any other bike or any other car. Alright, this light's never going to change. Okay. 
Did I just kill switch myself? That's embarrassing. Alright guys, we finally reached number one. Woo! And number one has to be exploring on a Grom. It's literally why I title my videos Grom Ventures. It's why I love riding through like smaller areas like neighborhoods and, and side streets. It's just so fun to explore on a Grom. It can go places that other bikes can't. Even though the suspension sucks, you probably shouldn't. And there's always like new places to go, places you haven't been, jumps you haven't jumped i mean literally the best part about owning a grom is just how much you can explore on them another bike where you can do a lot of that is uh supermotos but the reason why i got little rid of my supermoto is a lot of people find them more intimidating you can't go as many places where you won't get yelled at by people but it's crazy how much owning a grom has made me a, a much better rider not only with like knowing how to like wheelie and stuff but, but like how to get used to brake control i mean knee drags not saying I'm a professional or anything. I mean, the best part about the Grom is it's just pushed me to my limits of riding and it really allowed me to better myself that way. All my sport bikes, you can get a little bit better just with experience. But the thing with the Grom is because it's so flickable and because you can go off jumps and stuff like that, it just makes them, it just makes them a lot more fun than the usual bikes. This is really weird. I have two pairs of pants on and the pair of pants is underneath my first pair of pants. <laughs> Sounds really weird. Are like riding up. Oh, look at that bike. That's pretty cool. And a lot of people look at me like I'm crazy in the winter and they're like, why do you ride? And obviously because I have to record videos for my channel, that's kind of obvious. But the reason why I like that so much is just because it allows me to continue to ride. Even though sometimes my fingers get numb and I can hardly move, I would still ha rather have that and be able to ride this. And maybe I'm just easily entertained as I'm going in circles by myself. So me and Jar Jar are having this competition. He thinks he's gonna pass me in miles. I think he's crazy because there's no way he's gonna ride as much as I will in the winter. But I might as well sit here for a couple hours going in circles so I can work my miles up to beat him. Two hours later. Oh my gosh, we got another bike next to us. What's up, man? That's a sick bike. That's awesome, dude. I watched it today and Oh, really? Yeah. That's awesome, man. What's your name? Logan. Logan? Logan? Yeah, Grammy. What's up, man? Dude, this is sick. What year is it? Uh, oh, really? Is it yours? Yeah. That's awesome, man. Would oh, you just see me ride in the neighborhood? Oh, really? <laughs> That's awesome, man. Well, hey, you're going to be in a video. Well, it was nice meeting you, man. Later. And he can wheelie. That's sick. <laughs> well, that was cool. I think he said his name was Logan. Well, thanks for saying what's up, Logan. All right, anyways, guys, I'm going to go home. Got some important stuff to do. I had my fun today. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave a like. And if you guys want to see more of these adventures, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.